Hello everybody, today we're gonna discuss the second part, uh, especially we will deal for computing the multivariate analysis of variance in our software. In the previous tutorial, we discussed about uh, basic assumption to run the multivariate analysis of variance in our software. So today we'll compute the uh, statistical analysis, especially by using the different uh, test statistics. So MANOVA is mostly recommended to use the Wilkinson method but there are a number of uh, test uh, statistics that to use the uh, analysis. So the first one is uh, uh, this one, that means the PDI, and the second one is the Wilkes, third one is the Hotling, Lowelli, and lastly it is the Roy method. Mostly the uh, Wilkes are recommended for the multivariate analysis of variance. But in case, if you have unbalanced uh, design, as sometimes if the assumption for the uh, for the uh, homogeneity of covariance, uh, uh, homogeneity of co when you when the assumption of homogeneity of covariance is fail, so you have to use uh, the Pillai method, and by default. And the R will consider this uh, method, but if you want to change uh, into other, you have to type this test statistics, which equals to, for example, if I want to change into Wilkes, I will type instead of this one, this, and again, do for the rest one. So let's assign any name that you prefer. I just assign here is WAC because I love my name, and this linear model, you have to use the C band in order to gather the response uh, variable or the dependent variables. So in our cases, uh, the grease and the X4 is our response variable. Maybe it's different for you. Maybe you have different response variables, for example, planted, granule, etc. Then you have to indicate the treatment. So my uh, treatment, or uh, in our case, our treatment is rootstock, and you have to indicate your data name. So our data name is rootstock. So type this and submit to our studio. Then uh, here is a uh, um, MANOVA, is a function. Then you have to indicate WAG. WAG means a linear model that uh, contains the two response variables explained by the rootstock. Then uh, the test statistics I used here is the PLI. By default, I will consider even uh, no need to write this uh, test statistics. So uh, in order to get the play, but I uh, I just uh, show you in order if you want to convert or if you want to change into other test statistics method. For example, if you want to convert into Wilkes, you have to type here is Wilkes or Roy or, or Hotling Lawen this way. So uh, by this way we can do. Let's see our MANOVA result. Yes, our MANOVA result for the rootstock, well, we have degree of freedom is 5, and the F, the approximate F value is 1.57 with a numerator degree of freedom 10 and with denominator degree of freedom 84. Quite unfortunate, there is no statistically significant difference in the uh, root stock. So, uh, if you remember, we have six root stocks, so there is no statistical difference for the stock, especially for the two parameters, that means the grease and the X uh, parameters. So, if your MANOVA is non-significant, no need to go, no need to go a mean separation technique or uh, we, are, we have to stop here because we get non-significant result. But in case, if you have significant result, I will show you how to do the post hoc test again also we will uh, i will show you the uh, pairwise uh, comparison and uh, manova is governed by a number of rules for example when the assumption of normality and homogeneity of variance is violated uh, sorry when the assumption of normality and variance is uh, met you have to use the post hoc test the anova underscore test but when the assumption of homogeneity of variance, especially when we when you get the mm, significant Leven test, so you have to use the Welch ANOVA test. But uh, in total, if you get uh, if the, all assumptions are violated, so you have to shift from a parametric model to a non-parametric model. So in order to do that, you have to use the crucial wireless or the crucial underscore test method. So these are some uh, key rules that you have to follow. 
So assume that uh, uh, our uh, assume that I will show you into in different uh, methods. So assign anything that you want here. I assign here in the form of x. Then root talk is our data, and this is the pipe which is connected to our data. And we gather key to value, variable, value to value, value, and you have to indicate here is your dependent variable or response variables. And again, you have to connect group wise to to variables. So type this and submit to our studio. Then we will go for analysis. For example, we, we, we will use wealth test when the assumption of homogeneity of variance is evaluated. That means if you get significant Levin test, you have to use uh, this one. So type this and submit to our studio. And in similar fashion, you can go for an overtest. An overtest when the assumption of normality and homogeneity of variance is met. So you have to use this technique. I, I, this is the way that you have to do in this way. But if you get all the assumption is violated, so the non-parametric model is the alternative solution for such problems. So use the critical uh, Wallis, yes, crucial Wallis, but the function is here is the crucial underscore test, then you have to indicate it in this way. So I used here is wealth test because our homogeneity of, uh, by considering homogeneity of variance is violated. So according to this, yeah, you can, uh, you can, uh, this, uh, when we see the value for this variable, it is 0 0.123, and when we see the second variables, uh, it is around 0 0.176. Still, the, but it indicates that there is no statistical significance difference among the root stock within such, within such uh, groups. Furthermore, if you want to compute, um, if you want to compute the pairwise comparison in order to compare or to determine which which groups are different from each other, so uh, you have to. Uh, uh, you have to follow these uh, uh, techniques. Again, if the homogeneity of variance is good or if the homogeneity of variance is met, you have to use the Takei honest significance difference in order to uh, compute multiple pairwise comparison. But if the assumption of homogeneity of variance is validated, that means if we get significant positive, or sorry, significant um, uh, uh, result, so you have to use the uh, games hall post hoc test. So uh, do this, um, the pairwise uh, comparison, and again, you have to indicate uh, your data name. Our data name is rootstock and gather. The key is equal to variable, value is equal to value, and indicate here the response variables. Then do it this way, yeah. So uh, games hall test means by, by, by considering or by assuming that our homogeneity of variance is violated. So uh, if you discard these things, for example, estimate the, conf the confidence low or confidence high, in order to remove such details, you have to use this minus sign. Minus sign by default will uh, deduce or will uh, omit or will remove uh, this content. So type this and submit to our studio so let's see their pairwise, pairwise comparison uh, so uh, as you see for example here is the group one that means uh, root stock one compared to root stock two in this response variable uh, the p-value is greater than 0 0.05. So p-value is greater than 0 0.05 means there is no statistical significance difference among that uh, means. Again, uh, in all in all uh, combinations, there is no statistical significance difference uh, because uh, early early we get the MANOVA is non-significant, so uh, we may not expect a significant result here. But I'm showing with the procedure how if we get a significant uh, result. So by this way, you can compute uh, the pairwise uh, comparison, especially using the GAMS, the GAMS whole test when the assumption of homogeneity of variance is uh, violated. And again, this is uh, for uh, this one. Again, you can do for the rest, uh, for the, for the rest uh, parameters. For example, alternatively, you can do this in similar fashion. For example, you can uh, do this one. Uh, 
by uh, doing this way again if you want to remove this estimate alternative you can remove deta the details by this way or by uh, this uh, way so type this and then make it nullifying so null 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 yeah so you will get such results but if you are interested to put in the box plot uh, or if you want to display in some uh, figure you have to follow this one first assign any name that you want here then you have to indicate this one that means the pairwise comparison two then you have to uh, indicate x-axis which calls to root stock that so we have six uh, root stocks so the root stock will be displayed in the x-axis and again also you have to uh, create a level for example the f statics we get is 1.574 the p-value is 0 0.001 the parameter is the 10 numerator degree of freedom and 84 the uh, denominator yes let's let's show you yeah here is so the approximate f value is 1.57 and you have to indicate the numerator degree of freedom is 10 the denominator degree of freedom is 84 so uh, copy at uh, this value and uh, and put it in this uh, section so you will get uh, good uh, so this result will be displayed in the box plot you will see a letter then uh, finally the, you have to draw the dg uh, box plot so you have to use the dg box plot function you have to indicate your data the x-axis which you call it to the root stock the y-axis is our response variable in our case our response variable is the grease and the uh, uh, x4 then merge is equal to true that means combining both in one the pilot is dg plus two and again you have to indicate the stat p value manual and also hide non-significance equal to false but um, if it is true it will hide all non-significant data but our data is our data contain all are what non-significant so uh, when you type hide is equal, hide dot ns is equal to true it will hide the non-significant but it is false so it display the non-significant result too so doing this way you can change the size on the base of your preference even on the tip link is on the base of your uh, preference so again uh, type all these things so you'll get uh, the uh, box plot yeah here it is so all are non-significant because the MANOVA result is non-significant so even the numerator degree of freedom and the denominator degree of freedom is displayed the f value is displayed the p value is displayed and the one with red is the grease and the one with the other color is the exit four and here is the root stock MANOVA is what we uh, give in the title here yes yeah you can change any name that you prefer or maneuver or multivariate analysis of variance so this is all about today's uh, tutorial and i will come up with a factorial maneuver analysis in upcoming uh, videos until then if you have any question regarding to my tutorial you can address me through my email gmail.com or alternatively you can use the youtube uh, comment box thank you for watching have a nice time